Hey everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can fix crashing in Forza Horizon, Forza Horizon 3. This is a complete tutorial, so if you have now, the game is not launching, it's crashing, and you have this problem. I know it's super annoying, it's actually something that is so annoying when you just want to play the game, enjoy the game, have a good time, but it's not... Um, you can't do it simply because there is an error. There is the the game is not launching. So in this video, I'm just gonna share with you what worked for me. There's other ways to fix this problem, but I'll just share what I've tried and it works. And I also believe that if you combine other methods, I can assume something that you haven't done on your computer and you have to do it. If you combine all the methods I'm gonna show in this video. I hope it's gonna work for you, I can't guarantee you, but there's a chance, so please try, watch this until the very end, and now let's jump right into the video without wasting any second. So let's go with Windows Update for, and it's not when updating your, in Windows necessarily, that's important obviously, but you can always click on update here, but what I've discovered and what worked for me multiple times and all this, I'm doing this for some of my clients, some close friends, some laptops that I'm working that I have to fix, you just have to go to, um, where is it, advanced options, and here, go to optional updates and then what you have to do is to expand driver updates and make sure you check all of this all the drivers available here and make sure you click on download and install all right because usually if their list is huge then you're probably missing a lot of updates that are really important for your computer and also go to device device manager and here just make sure you uh, install the latest drivers okay here, make sure you go to display adapters and update driver and search automatically. Or you can also go to update driver, browse, let me pick, and here select your driver. Okay, but you also need some tools, so make sure you're doing that. Okay, so I'll leave the, all the links in the description of this video, so you can check all the links here, all the websites. First website that you have to click on is DirectX and user runtime web installer. You have to install this in order to uh, run the game properly without any errors. Okay, so click on save, you save the project, you have it here. And then what you have to do is to open this, click on next, okay, accept uncheck this you don't need click on next and that's pretty much it i'm not gonna install i already have it on my computer but now let's move to the next um next thing you have to have on your computer is microsoft visual c plus plus so make sure you install this as well so click on this link click on install save and then let's click on this so now just make sure you install this as well okay we need Visual Microsoft Visual C++ in order to in order to uh, play the game. So click Agree and install. Right, perfect. Now, now if you are um, Nvidia user, make sure you install this as well. This automatic driver updates. This is what I have. GeForce Experience. And if you have this installed on your computer, you can simply go to Drivers panel here page and here you can check for updates and then click on download okay now that's very important this is very good tool and you also have this kind of the same tool with the same functionality for AMD user um, you just click on the download button here you have auto detect and also for Intel you can click on here download and that's pretty much it you know I hope it's gonna help you make sure you apply and you try all the methods I am showed you in this video because there is a chance it's gonna work, I did work for me, I hope it's gonna work for you. Also, make sure you leave your results in the comment section, I'm really curious to see uh, what results you got. So, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you now in the next uh, video. Take care.